When we were young, we would go to the ocean, and we would see people fishing on the pier, no matter what time of the day it was. Sometimes we would go to the marina, and we would see a fishing charter returning from its day's trip, and people getting off of it with their day's catch. But what was most interesting to us was the old man that climbed the breakers, the rugged, jagged, giant rocks, with the waves crashing on it. And they would use a very peculiar, long, fixed fishing pole, with a fixed line that they would just drop into the ocean. And for bait, they would use simple items like peas or seafood that they have obtained from the local supermarket that they cut up, and they would catch fish. We felt so inspired, we started heading out at three, four a.m. in the morning to join those old men, and. We would stand there in the cold, but we would never catch anything. We would find ourselves at the Redondo Beach marketplace, and we would buy ourselves fish and chips to drown our sorrows. But one day, this all came to an end when a giant wave crashed into the breaker and soaked us all. It was quite demoralizing. But we continued our luck with fishing on the pier. And we've tried for weeks without success, but one day we caught a silver fish. It looked suspiciously like the fish that were on the warning sign posted at San Pedro Pier. They call it a white croaker. And the reason this fish had a warning was because it was deemed unsafe to eat because it was poisonous. It was quite contaminated with DDT. Which is a pesticide used back in the 80s, but we refused to admit that was the same fish. We took it home, we filleted it, and we fried it, and we took a bite out of it, and it indeed tasted like metal. It was indeed a poisonous fish. If you like this story, please like and subscribe, and come back for more. Thank you.